Hey guys, what's up? So it's been a long time since I've posted on my channel and uh, I've had a lot of ups and downs and I know that over the course of some time that I haven't posted and and honestly I've really had just a roller coaster ride. I have to say that it's been uh, you know it's it's been very challenging and upsetting but also I've made a lot of progress too. And I wanted to talk about a few things. My journey to ultimately treating my anxiety. And it involved trying medication. That didn't work. It tried. I tried not taking medication. That didn't work. And I ended up starting off with uh, an over-the-counter supplement. It's called St. John's Wort. And it's from uh, the plant itself. And... I have to say that it helped me out a lot and I've been on it now for probably maybe uh, two months now and man has it made some huge changes in my life. Um, it really has helped to get my anxiety under control. Um, it's not perfect, you know, It um, the first two weeks will be hard because you have to, you know, you have to deal with the side effects if you have any. Um, usually your anxiety will get worse in the two weeks. You may have some other issues with um, heightened emotions and that type of thing. I will say that uh, after that, and you just give it a chance, and it will start working. It will reduce anxiety, improves mood. Um, I also have um, an anxiety disorder. I also have... Uh, what they call a periodic depression which comes and goes and since i've been on the saint john's wort it really uh is i don't get depressed anymore it provides a safety net and i do there are there were times where i was down and i felt down but it wasn't to the extent where i was getting these depressive episodes and um it really, uh, it really helped me out. Um, and of course, I've made some lifestyle changes. I now eat, uh, um, I eat a lot more whole foods, um, try to eat organic foods. I've just been recently trying the um, um, beef as my main protein, uh, organic beef, of course, and organic eggs. Um, I'm not fully carnivore or fully keto. I'm, you know, making my way there. There are some foods that I still really enjoy. And maybe, you know, maybe I even should be getting off it because um, I noticed that the last little while, and I'll get into um, I started taking CBD oil as well, that I stopped craving these junk foods. As soon as I start taking the CBD oil, which is really interesting, uh, maybe that's just a me thing. I've been on the CBD oil, I've only taken it, I think three nights I've taken it. And I haven't even taken the dose that was recommended to me. I took a lower dose to start because, because I'm sensitive to medications and uh, side effects and that type of thing. So I stopped, um, so I didn't use the... It was a five five milliliters of CBD oil. Uh, it's 20, 21 milligrams of CBD and I think 0 0.6 milligrams of THC. And that was recommended to me. I really didn't know what I should take, so I just went along with that to see how it uh, see how it worked out. And I tell you, man, that like no wonder the pharmaceutical industry was suppressing this stuff. Like it basically is like almost cured my anxiety and I've, you know, I feel normal again. Like I feel, you know, in the past, sometimes up, you know, in my head, it would feel empty, you know, it would feel like there's a, something missing up there. Um, and I don't know if it's just something's not firing up there chemically. Um, but I, it just, you know, when I take the CBD oil and maybe combine with the, the St. John's Wort, and I feel normal. 
I feel like I used to feel when I was a kid. You know, I felt full life and I felt, um, I feel happy again. You know, I feel like, I feel great. And, you know, that's combined with some lifestyle choices I made. I was basically um, working an insane schedule, which I dropped down to part-time. You know, so it's all combined, right? But, like, for the first time ever, I really feel normal. And my, like, my complexion is also clearing up. Um, and probably has to do partly with my diet. I'm eating a lot more fresh organic beef. It is more expensive, but I make it last. So I buy probably about $70 worth of uh, steak and ground beef. And I basically cut it all, I buy big pieces and I cut it all up into little miniature steaks. So I make it last, you know, probably like two weeks, three weeks, I'd make it last for, you know, so um, the ground beef I go by, I go through a little faster, but um, I try to make it last as much as I can. I eat mostly beef. Uh, I would say that's probably about 80% of my diet. Um, I'm planning on starting to get, starting fish again. Because I used to eat a lot of fish. Actually, it was it was about eighty percent of my diet in the past, um, and I plan on starting to eat more fish, wild caught, of course, um, because the fish farms are just disgusting. Same with factory farms. I can't buy grocery store beef anymore because it uh, tastes like shit now. Like compared to this other, like compared to organic beef, you know, it just it tastes like shit. And especially, you don't know the way they're handling it. Sitting around can be old beef. You know, it's just gross. I feel so much better. Um, like I said, my skin is also clearing up. I still have these little red bumps on my forehead. They've cleared up mostly, but they're not as bad as they used to be. I've had those for probably, probably a decade I've had it. And it's probably looking better than it ever has. I'll also say that I've stopped eating chips um, I used to get into a habit of eating potato chips and my acne has also like I found that it's been clearing up since I've been st stopped eating it too so um, so um, I stopped doing that um, drinking more water I'm trying to drink less well I don't drink juice anymore don't drink orange juice or apple juice because it's all full of sugar. Like they loaded it in with sugar. It's been treated and, you know, it's probably not even real. Like it's probably has a less amount of real juice in it and the rest of it is sugar. Stop drinking juice. Um, I occasionally have ginger ale, which um, is probably contributing to my acne. Um, but I've been trying to cut down on that. And so I'm trying to drink mostly water and I, I do drink, um, Powerade. Uh, it's an electrolyte drink because I just find, well, now I'm, I have more energy, but I found that I was not, um, like I had no energy, like, and I think Plus two, I was just drained from work and I was exhausted all the time. Um, so I do drink a little bit of that during the day to give me an energy boost. It does help. There's There are vitamins and minerals in Powerade at least. Gatorade is just sugar water with electrolytes in it. That's it. That's all it is. Um, I mean, there's a lot of sugar in Powerade too, but I can't find a substitute that will help me. Like, uh, I bought an organic electrolyte powder and it didn't do anything for me so tonight will be the fourth day i'm gonna take the cbd oil um like even looking in the camera right now like my skin looks so much better like it's like it looks so much clear and like it's almost like there's like almost a gloss to it like such a huge difference you know and uh i feel happier my health is is important and uh, especially when you know you're working or you're in a place where you know maybe the
the people around you don't necessarily think that your well-being is that important you know at the end of the day you know there's an old saying and that is that you are your biggest advocate you know you are in full control unless you know you have some other issues but you know you have full control over what you do what you say how you live your life if you want to live it a positive way or a negative way there are there's definitely some gray area in there you know especially with people that have been traumatized and abused especially the kids and that type of thing but um, at the end of the day there's always a choice you always have a choice to make you know um, it just depends on what you're willing to sacrifice what you're willing to lose and are you willing to take risks to for a greater prize um, and it, you may have to deal with a bigger challenge or the cost may be high in order to receive that that high prize that you want so that's that's what you got to do and uh, it's you know life's a journey and you know I'm taking it step by step and I'm gonna be doing some more videos um, I feel good I you know I really am thinking more clear than I ever have um, and don't worry the bullshit in life hasn't gone away you know there's still you know there's still gonna be people in in life that will um, mistreat you or cause you problems it's just all a matter of how you deal with it and um, you know I was having a conversation with a client of mine about that um, as I'm still in the CWW field, the trial and youth work field. At the end of the day, it's about you know what path you want to take and what you know how you want to deal with people, right? So, anyways, guys, uh, I'm feeling good. I'm happy. Uh, there's still a lot more to accomplish. There's still a lot more to do. I, uh, you know, I'm. I'm in a good place right now um, in terms of my my health I feel uh, I still have a lot more a lot more to do in terms of my physical health um, going back to the gym and um, doing more swimming and that type of thing and just you know I'm I signed up for acting lessons so I thought yeah what the hell give it a try just to spare the moment, spontaneous thing. Going to do that. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun time. And uh, if you're in a bad place right now and you are you you don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, just keep moving forward. That's how I got to where I am now is that uh, I kept moving forward. And no matter what the bad times, the depressions, I just, you know... I'd go in through these cycles and I would say, you know what, I'm going to keep moving forward and I'm going to keep working to better my life. And um, it's paying off. And, um, you know, that's, you have to have hope. You have to always have hope to get you through to the next day. The things will get better and that you want things to get better and you'll work towards that. And, um, you know, that's, that's what it needs, that's what it needs to be. Okay? Okay, guys. Thank you so much. Take care, and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to keep it locked on the Andrew K. channel.